Postgraduate training in surgery has been a point of great pride at Michigan for many years. Our residencies, which include general surgery, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, and plastic surgery, attract talented people from across the United States and have produced some of the most important surgeons in this country. Clinical training is the bedrock of our residencies and will remain our number one priority. But many of our trainees are also attracted to the incredible research opportunities of the University of Michigan. And the fact is that winning federal support for resident research endangers this important opportunity. We're excited to initiate the Resident Research Endowment Fundraising Initiative. It's received incredible support. The Department of Surgery has contributed $6 million as seed funds for this effort. The faculty of the department, who know firsthand the importance of resident research, have pledged $300,000 a year for each of the next 10 years to this effort. The remaining funds to come from alumni, grateful patients, and community leaders. Ultimately, this is about our residents. This is about their futures. These are their stories. Thank you for listening. Injuries are the leading cause of death in young people in the United States and uh, the third leading cause of death overall in all age groups. And uh, an important concept in trauma is the golden hour. And this is the early period after an injury. And it's very important because being able to intervene can save people's lives. And the two major things we're dealing with that kill people during this period are bleeding or hemorrhage and brain injury. And we don't have any specific treatments to offer patients during this period except just supportive care. So one of the areas I focused on in my research is coming up with new drugs to treat people in this period. One of the major things we discovered in the lab is that there's a drug called valproic acid, which has been around for over 50 years, but it's been used to treat seizures. And we found that this drug can dramatically increase survival in models of hemorrhage and in models of brain injury, it can significantly reduce the size of the brain injury and enhance recovery from the, from the brain uh, injury. So uh, we're actually halfway through a phase one clinical trial, which I am a co-investigator in, to use this drug in, uh, in real practice and eventually be able to use it to treat injured patients. One of the major things that attracted me to a place like Michigan is the opportunity to develop as an academic surgeon. And Michigan is unique in that we have dedicated time set aside to pursue research and academic development. And that's something that a lot of places can offer nowadays. And uh, for me, having those two years of dedicated time is essential uh, to build a foundation to become uh, an academic surgeon. And without these two years, you really uh, don't have the skills and expertise you need later on in your career. There's been a dramatic cut across all agencies for research. And this affects everybody, but I think it especially affects surgery residents because we dedicate a large portion of our training to becoming surgeons, you know, anywhere from five to even ten years uh, to learn how to become a surgeon. And it's very difficult during this period to be competitive for research funds on your own. So having dedicated funding to help re uh, residents pursue their academic development and build the foundation that they need for a career in surgery is really essential. And I think it's one of the major things that attracts people to Michigan and uh, will continue to attract the, the top people in the country to come here.